Alright everyone, I wasn't planning for this, but today we're fixing the Oblivion Remaster. All of the issues it has, all of the stuttering, all of the lag issues, the crashes, and I will do my best to cover pretty much everything. It should run better on consoles. <laughs> But as far as I'm aware, Bethesda has released it on a completely broken state when it comes again to PCs. And before we move on, I want to state why this happens. This game runs on Unreal Engine 5 combined with the Creation Engine. Unreal Engine 5 works only for high-end PCs, which means it's not meant to work great with mid-PCs. And have in mind, both people who own high-end systems and both mid-systems, they're having their games on a similar fashion. The fact that we also have the creation engine as well being as broken as it always is, I know it's great for the memeable moments we get in Oblivion which is amazing by the way. We don't have an unofficial patch to fix all of the bugs, the crashes, the glitches that Oblivion had, so all of those are included here. So let's move on, also drop a like, subscribe to the channel, it helps me find my audience, I appreciate it a lot. I'm gonna show you with a few cognitive ways how to fix Oblivion Remaster and later on I'm gonna show you a mod or two to fix that as well. All of the links will be down in the video description and I will recommend you to follow this video step by step. The first thing I want to share, this is from the Oblivion community and I've tested this. My system is very similar to that. I have an Nvidia 370, I have 32GB of RAM and essentially what you want to do from this Reddit post and again thanks to the Oblivion community for sharing this is that on the display settings you want to set all of those when it comes to your graphical options. This is exactly the options I have. Put the rate limit on uncap, copy pretty much everything. Next, we're gonna locate where our Oblivion Remaster is and we're going to right click on it, go to Manage and go to Browse Local Files. First of all, select the Oblivion Remaster EXE, right click on it, go to Properties, go to the Compatibility and select Run the Program as Administrator. That is going to let your PC put all of the effort when it comes to running your program, which is not going to allow Windows to interrupt or have any bit of influence when it comes to that. We are not done yet. You want to go and click the Change Settings for all users. Click on that and you want to disable the full screen optimization which is something that is causing issues and I figure out when I've tried this it doesn't cause me as many crashes or VRAM crashes and in order to furthermore stop Windows from messing with our game you want to click on this you want to click on the override high DPI scaling preview or whatever it's called skill issue guys my English are not the best and select the application click OK click apply and click OK again then click the Oblivion Remaster, go to Binaries, go to Windows 64 and we're going to do the exact same thing for this crap over here. Right click and go to Properties, go to Compatibility, click the Disable Full Screen Optimization, select the Run Program as Administrator, click the Change Settings for all users, don't touch any of those and click Change High DPI Settings. Click on this crap and select the Override High DPI and also the application. That's it, click OK, do exactly that and close this crap. You can also click on your files as you can see here by pressing Ctrl C. You can copy this because we're not done yet. We're going to fix or adjust our Nvidia and our Windows and our PC with Oblivion Remaster. This is what happens when a game is as badly optimized as Oblivion Remaster is. The next thing, go to your Windows and type graphic settings and you will get this. Go and select the hardware acceleration, GPU, uh, thingy majiggy, click on this means it will focus all of the interaction your PC has, your GPU, when you launch games. And we can select specific games to run this, which is also how I managed to run Fallout New Vegas very smoothly too. As you can see, I have added all of those three packages. This is the Oblivion Remastered, the two files we've adjusted before, and this is the Unreal Engine 5 inside your Steam. We are going to select all of those three and we are going to apply settings, which means they are going to run super smooth. Smoother than a Greek souvlaki being cooked during the summer. So again, click Browse, you're gonna get this window. 
Firstly, let's select the Oblivion Remaster and click Add. I have already added it, so as you can see, it's already there. Click to the program we added and go to Options and select the High Performance and that's it. Similar fashion, click to Browse. I'm gonna click here and select Control V to paste the previous window and we're going to grab the Oblivion Remaster for Windows 64. I am going to click Add, which I already have it. I am going to click on the Oblivion Remaster, which is the second file we have. Click on the options and run it on high performance mode. Next, we are going to do the exact same thing for the Unreal Engine Executionable. Click on Engine, click on Extras, click on Redis, this crap, and select this as well. I have already selected this, so you're not gonna have the red thingy that I have. Again, go to the options and select high performance as well, and we are done with it. Next, let's go to the advanced system setting. You are going to get this window over here. We only care for the settings. So go to the advanced options and select the adjust the best performance of programs and here is where we have to change our VRAM. Before this, I was having Oblivion run with 8000 megabytes of VRAM, which is not very good. I am going to put the values here on the screen. We're going to change the total paging file size of drivers, which comes from how much VRAM you are using. I am using 32 gigabytes of VRAM on my SSD drive, which is why I have selected 45,000. I will have all of the values here on the screen. So what you need to do you click change, you select the disk where Oblivion Remaster is, for me it's on this here and you essentially change both of those to the values you want and you press ok and that's it. That's how simple it is. That means all of our VRAM will be focused now on top of everything on launching Oblivion Remaster which is going to stop the stuttering and the annoying lag issue. Next let's move to the Nvidia stuff. The first thing I want to recommend you guys is to run the Nvidia application, go to the drivers and check if you have any drivers to install. Once we are done with this, we're gonna go down to the windows again, type NVIDIA, we need to get the control panel for NVIDIA. Go to the adjust image settings with previewer and select this all the way to performance. We don't want to lose any small performance issues because of Windows or some other program running, that's why we're doing this, there is also other reasons, this is going to make all of your games, not only Oblivion Remastered, to run even smoother. So click apply and that's it. Let's go to the next step. Go to Windows and select the game mode settings. And enable the game mode on, which is going again to focus everything when you're launching any games with your PC without losing a fraction of any other activity. Now the next thing we are doing, we're going to move on Nexus and we're going to install the Ultimate Engine Tweaks Chuck Norris, Chicken Edition, whatever all this crap is called. You want to go to the files and select the one that works for you. Most of the PCs run with no VRR, but again, check what you have. I am using the first one over here. Go and manually install this. And once this is manually installed, you want to grab it and you want to extract it. Once this is extracted, you want to open this and you're going to have this thingy majiggy. Leave this open over here and open the documents again, go to your documents, go to my games, go to Oblivion Remaster, click save, click configs, click windows and you want to grab what we have installed and simply drag and drop it inside here which is going to have the best settings that the community has figured out to have your game run amazingly well. This has almost half a million downloads and it does God's work when it comes to making your game run better. Again, have in mind, Unreal Engine 5 doesn't matter how high or how low your graphical settings are because it doesn't make that much of a big difference. In my humble opinion, Papa Smurf Kavu will advise you to have a better, smoother running game at all times using optimization like that which means we're going to use some high some mid settings on the graphical stuff than having the game running on ultra crisis graphics causing us crashes and fps loss every second step we take that being said guys that was pretty much all of the stuff that i know so far to essentially fix the 
best stuttering with Oblivion the Lucky Issues and the Crushes. Have in mind that Virtuous Paris Studio, the studio behind the Oblivion remaster, has addressed that they are going to run few updates when it comes to addressing these issues. So my prediction is that we are going to get a bunch of few updates coming from those guys when it comes to optimization because it is so bad that many people cannot actually play the game. That being said, if you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe, I love you all, but you know what I love more? Oblivion. So I'm gonna leave this here and then I'm going to return back in Cyrodiil while I will kill a bunch of elves and goblins. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy session with Oblivion, have a fantastic time and also tune up if you're curious about other modding videos I make. Bye bye everyone and peace.